Today's story is chosen for Isla because she's become a big sister this week to little sister Lottie. So I thought it's time to have a baby story. Are you ready? This is Brand New Baby by Bob Graham. Mrs Arnold was going to have a brand new baby. She wore dresses as big as tents. Edward Arnold wore a large box. Wendy Arnold wore her mum's old trousers. When the box and the trousers collided, there was trouble in the Arnold house. Edward cried, but it was all noise and no tears. Don't be so rough with your brother, said Mrs Arnold. Mum bounced Edward to help him smile again. Then she needed help to get out of her chair. Dad helped too by ironing the tiny clothes that began to appear. They're doll's clothes, said Wendy. No, they're baby clothes, said Dad. Sometimes Wendy and Edward pretended that the new baby had already come. They washed it, changed its nappy and fed it on leaves and mud and lots of watery tea. What should we call the new baby when she comes, asked Wendy. She may be a boy, said Mum. Oh, said Wendy. Walter, said Edward. Call him Walter. When they sat quietly, they could feel the new baby moving. It's Walter, said Wendy. Hello, Walter, said Edward. And then the new baby was born. Edward and Wendy dressed up as Bat King and Wonder Woman. Dad took them to the hospital to meet the baby for the first time. Edward was very excited. He took his two best toys as presents for the new baby, Walter. But baby Walter looked like he wouldn't need toys for some time. He was very small and pink and fast asleep. It's like a toy, said Wendy. Will he wake up? Such tiny hands, said Dad, and he looks like Edward. Where is Edward, said Dad. He's hiding under the bed with his silly present, said Wendy. Come on, Edward, come and meet Walter and bring your presents with you, said Dad. They're much too big for baby Walter, said Wendy. They're your best toys. That's kind of you, Edward, said Mum. I'm sure Walter will look at them when he wakes up. Would you like to hold your new brother? He looks like he might break, said Edward. He's still asleep, said Wendy. Edward was saved by the bell. It was time to go home. Are you quite sure you didn't want to hold Walter? asked Dad as they left the hospital. When he comes home, said Edward, I'll try him when he comes home at the weekend. On Saturday, Mrs Arnold was waiting to leave the hospital with baby Walter. Dad was still at home, busy cleaning up. He wanted everything neat and tidy fast for them. Wendy and Edward weren't helping at all. They were playing a game called Houses, and when it was time to go to the hospital, they were still arranging the furniture. Wendy and Edward didn't like going to the hospital. It smelled of medicine and floor polish. It was nice to see Mum again, but they weren't impressed by Walter. He didn't do anything much. Aren't you going to talk to the new baby, Edward, said Dad. You haven't said a word to him yet. Edward just took his boat and his back car because Walter didn't seem interested in them. Mr Arnold took Mrs Arnold's bag and the nurse carried baby Walter. Wendy thought Walter looked a bit like a sleeping prune. On the bus, Walter suddenly woke up. He struggled and curled his fingers. His face changed colour and he burped very loudly. Wow, said Wendy. Not bad, said Edward. It was the most interesting thing Walter had ever done. When they got home, Grandma was waiting to help with the baby. Anyone for tea and cake, she said. Not for the baby, said Edward. Not for Walter, said Wendy. He just made the biggest burp you ever heard. The trouble with Walter was that Mum and Dad never had time for anything else. They managed to find time to bath him and watch him kick and suck his fists, but they had no time to help with pyjamas the way they used to. In fact, Mum was always feeding the baby, or washing, or ironing, or sleeping. She fell asleep a lot when she wasn't with baby Walter. Baby Walter slept a lot too, so games had to be played very, very quietly, even when they were very, very exciting. 
But when Edward and his sister were in their beds and fast asleep, Walter would wake up and make so much as much noise as he liked, or so it seemed. In the mornings, Walter was much more likeable. Wendy and Edward slowly got used to their baby brother. They even helped when he needed his nappy changed. And every day Walter did new things. Some days he looked at Wendy and Edward and smiled as if he knew who they were. At last Mum and Dad had more time to play games and baby Walter almost seemed part of the family. The end. That was a lovely story about a baby. See you later everybody. Bye.